Welcome. In front of me is an iPad Pro 11 from 2021, and today I will show you how to transfer music to the device. So if you're still the person that likes to keep your music locally, um, what you will need for this is a cable and a computer. Now if you're using Windows, uh, you will need to download iTunes from Windows Store, but if you're using a, a Mac or Mac OS uh, laptop, then you actually don't need to do anything extra. So let's now connect the device. And from here, so on our computer, let's search for uh, music application, so like so. And if you haven't done it already, uh, you will need to first trust the device. So to do so, you simply need to open up Finder. And what the heck was that? There we go. So to do so, um, sorry for that weird sound. Um, you need to go to your Finder and from here, you will find the iPad on the bottom. And by default, it will be primarily empty. It will only give you the option to trust. And once you press that on the iPad itself, you will get a pop-up to trust the computer. So on both of them, you need to trust and everything should work just fine. So from there, you close the Finder and go to our uh, music application, where from here you should find your uh, device right here under the devices category. And all you need to do now uh, is, well, there's actually a couple different ways you can sync your music. Um, I'm gonna go over uh, several different aspects of it and which one might be better for you or which one might be worse. So, um, if you're planning to sync your entire library all the time, uh, you have enough space on your device to do so, then all you really need to do is probably go to the uh, Finder and from here to your device and let's see, where is it? Music category right here and from here just select that you want to sync and sync entire music library and this will sync basically everything that is on your device uh, and whenever you add new songs to your device and plug your tablet in it will automatically add those to, those songs to the tablet but on the other hand side if you're the type of person that just wants to sync several songs not all of it uh, maybe you don't have space or you want to share the space with, with some other content on your device, uh, then this option might not be necessarily for you uh, because if you go with the sync, even though, for instance, you have uh, this option right here to select uh, what you want to sync, so you can choose artists, playlists, stuff like that to sync, uh, this will, uh, if you go this route, it will turn off the option for you to add music manually. So for instance, you synced it through here, you downloaded one song and you just want to do this kind of this kind of route. Just grab, drag it over and drop it, which will allow you to sync that song to the device. So you will see right now, probably it's already here. Let's see, yep, there it is. So you can see it added here. Um, so if you went the sync route through Finder, you won't be able to do such a simple thing as just drag and drop your files into your tablet and or files music to your tablet which isn't necessarily the best thing so what i would primarily advise for majority of you uh, go the manual route the first time around might be a little bit uh, more hassle to do so because you will have to if you don't want all the songs you will have to pick and choose which ones you want and don't want uh, but at the end of the day, once you have done this once, you can easily add new songs to it without any kind of problems. And if you go the sync route, you will need to constantly go into here and recheck whatever it is that you want to add, new albums, and then apply it again. It will resync it and do all that stuff. Um, so it's a little bit more hassle and removes some of this kind of like pleasant and easiness out of well, syncing your music. Because it should be, in my opinion, really easy, just drag and drop and this will remove that option. Additionally, one more thing that I will mention is if you're syncing your music to this tablet on this computer, uh, whatever the computer it is that you're using, uh, make sure you sync it on the computer that you want to use uh, for the remainder of the time. Because if you want to sync music from a different device, uh, on a different iTunes, different computer, whatever the case may be, uh, you will literally need to remove everything, or all the songs that have already synced from the device and re-upload them once more from the new device. So if on the new computer you don't have all the library music that you want, uh, well then it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, so make sure that the computer that you're syncing it with has 
uh, well, will be the computer that you will be using for the majority of the time. So anyway, uh, that is basically how you could sync your music as you can see right here. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.